So, based on the yogic worldview, what are the ways of attaining well being? There are four ways of attaining well being, or you can say four steps of attaining well being Tattva Bodha, Indriya Jaya, Dharma Kriya, and Sukhayu Hitayu. Before I explain these, I must acknowledge uh, Dr. Deep Narayan Pandey, and there is an interesting story why I must acknowledge uh, Dr. Pandey in the beginning of this session. Uh, I have had opportunity to uh, work with uh, Professor Vishal Gupta in IIM Ahmedabad uh, uh, in offering a session uh, to the student of IIM Ahmedabad. This is an elective course very well subscribed on the mindfulness where he included yoga and also integrated the positive psychological aspect. So, this course was offered in, uh, uh, in month of October, November. In month of December, a news item about this course was published in a very famous uh, Hindi newspaper, Dainik Bhaskar. In the Panipat uh, edition, uh, this was published. And uh, in Rajasthan, Dr. Deep Narayan Pandey is posted as the chief conservator. He is the department head of the uh, Department of Forestry in Rajasthan. So, he read this news and he read the name of uh, mine also in that news item along with Professor Vishal Gupta. He searched my number, contacted me and uh, shared that in his family probably few generations have dedicated themselves for the study and spread of Ayurveda and yoga. His father was a great scholar and he learnt most of his knowledge about the Ayurveda and yoga from his father and he moved on to be uh, a forest officer in his career but he continued to study in this area. And uh, in the phone call, he said that uh, Dr. Pandey, I am very happy to see that this kind of course is being offered in IIM Ahmedabad. I am a student of uh, Ayurveda and I have also written quite a few things, quite a few articles in the newspapers uh, in the different aspect of Ayurveda related to well-being and happiness. And if you do not mind, I, I will be happy to share that. I said this will be so wonderful, so nice of you and uh, I accepted all the content he, uh, he shared with me with a lot of gratitude. So, this lecture draws very heavily from the content I received uh, from uh, Dr. Deep Narayan Pandey. So, these four elements or four ways of achieving, achieving well-being in the human life it starts with tattva bodh means knowledge. Tattva and this knowledge is not information. Tattva means knowing something essentials or knowing uh, essentials of some aspect of life. So, that is the tattva bodh. Bodh is realization, tattva is the essence. So, in the charak uh, literature, uh, in the uh, Ayurvedic literature, it is said that Tattvava Bodho Harshanam Utkrashtatamam. Tattva Bodh is the Utkrashta, very highly important thing for Harsha, for Prasannata, for happiness. Second element is Indriya Jaya. Uh, what Ayurvedic literature says that Indriya Jayo Nandananam Utkrashtatamam. To remain inherently happy, Indriyaja control on the senses is very, very good, Utkrashta of very good quality. Third is Dharma Kriya, Dharmya Kriya Harsha Nimitta Mukta, Dharma Kriya or working according to Dharma not religion, but dharma. We have explained this notion earlier as well. It is about inherent internal and external harmony. Operating from that space gives happiness. And fourth is sukhayu hitayu. Opposite of that is dukhayu, dukhayu or 
ahitayu. Uh, what a yogic tradition prescribes and Ayurvedic tradition explains beautifully is that sukhayu means life of happiness is also hitayu means life of benevolence. No one can attain a happy life without uh, crafting, without attaining, without practicing benevolent life. And if we look at these things closely, actually one factor leads to another one. So, until someone has tattva bodh, he or she cannot have indriya jaya. Until someone has knowledge, deep knowledge, they cannot control their senses. When con senses are in con under control, then only we can do whatever is right according to dharma. And when we enact according to dharma, our life becomes hitayu, which naturally result into sukhayu. Hitayu again, hit means benevolence, care and sukha means happiness, ayu meaning life. So, a caring life and a benevolent life result into happy life. So, these four elements are connected. 